Hey first graders, I was at school and I was cleaning and I found this book and we read it before, but I thought it would be a wonderful book to read again. It's called Dear Dragon. And this story is about pen pals. A pen pal is somebody that you write letters back and forth to. And this little boy has a pen pal and he's been writing letters back and forth, but he's never seen his pen pal, doesn't know what he looks like. And when they finally meet at the end of the story, he realizes that he's a little different than he is. So this story is about friendship and it doesn't matter what his pen pal looks on the like on the outside, his outer appearance, but it's all about the inside, what kind of a, a person or a dragon he is. So it's a pretty cool story about friendship. Dear Dragon, little boys in class. This teacher's telling them about pen pills. <clears throat> Hello students. Our poetry and pen pal projects this year are combined. Upon your desks, you'll see the pen pals that you've been assigned. Look at there's Dragon, he's at school and his teacher is telling their class, please make sure the letters that you write are all in rhyme. Now open up your envelopes because it's pen pal time. Rhyme time. September 12th. Dear Blaze Dragomer, we haven't met each other and I don't know what to say. I really don't like writing, but I'll do it anyway. Yesterday, my dad and I designed a giant fort I like playing catch and soccer. What's your favorite sport? Sincerely, George Slayer. So the little boy wrote the dragon a letter. And he's thinking, here's a thinking bubble. He's thinking about what his pen pal might look like. Is that what his pen pal looks like? <laughs> no, he doesn't know his pen pal's a human, a little boy. So now the dragon writes to the boy. And he's reading his letter from the dragon. October 1st. Dear George Slayer, I also don't like writing, but I'll try it, I suppose. A fort is like a castle, right? I love attacking those. My favorite sport is skydiving. I jump near Falcor Peak. Tomorrow is my birthday, but my party is next week. Sincerely, Lays Dragomer. So the little boy is thinking about what his pen pal might look like. <laughs> his pen pal doesn't look like that, does he? There's his pen pal. They don't know what each other looks like. So then he writes him back. Dear Blaze, October 31st. Dear Blaze Dragomer, you know how to skydive? That's as awesome as it gets. My dog destroyed my fort last night. Do you have any pets? Happy birthday, by the way. I don't have mine till June. I'm trick-or-treating as a knight. We are heading out real soon. George Slayer. <laughs> He's looking a little scared because dragons don't like knights, do they? <laughs> but there's his pen bail. He has a costume. November 14th. Dear George Slayer, Knights are super scary. I don't like to trick or treat. 
Brushing my teeth is such a pain. I rarely eat a sweet. My pet's a Bengal kitten, and tonight she needs a bath. What's your favorite class in school? I'm really into math. Blaze Dragomer. <laughs> so he's thinking his pen pal is giving this little kitty a bath. But look, <laughs> there's his kitty. December 16th. Dear Blaze D, my favorite class is art. I made a mold of my left hand. Next, we'll craft mosaics using pebbles, stones, and sand. Yesterday, I won a prize in this year's science fair. My towering volcano blasted lava everywhere. George S. And there's he, there he is imagining his pen pal. But that wasn't his volcano. There it is. January 18th. Dear George S., my father's won our local fire breathing contest twice. He still retains the record melting 50, ice, 50 cubes of ice. Do you have any hobbies? I enjoy collecting rocks. I keep them in a secret place inside a precious box. Blaze D. <laughs> There's his papa, huh? February 22nd. Blaze. Fire breathing? What's your father's job? My folks are teachers. I collect exotic monsters, animals, and creatures. Oh, guess what? I heard the news this morning from Miss Sweet. A pen pal picnic's planned for June. At last, we'll get to meet. George. So he's thinking about his pen pal collecting exotic <laughs> creatures in a jar. But look at his exotic creatures. They're on his shelf. They're not real, are they? Look, he's even got, looks like a little dragon or dinosaur. So the dragon writes back to George, March 15th. George, dad's in demolition. He works hard throughout the day, but every night we read a book or pick a game to play. Soon he's going to take me flying once it's really spring, it's such a rush to ride the air that flows from wing to wing. Blaze. April 11th. Hi, Blaze. Skydiving and flying lessons? Wow, your parents rock. I'm lucky if my father lets me bike around the block. Once the school year's over and this project is complete, should we continue writing? Cause it could be kind of neat. Your friend, George. They really like each other, don't they? They like writing with to each other. May 12th. Hey George, I'm psyched about the picnic and I can't wait to attend. Who'd have thought this pen pal thing would make me a new friend? Writing more sounds awesome. I was gonna ask you too. I've never liked to write as much as when I write to you. Your friend, Blaze. Yeah, are they friends? They sure are. There they are, they're going to their pen pal picnic. Look at the kids' faces. Oh, look at the dragon's faces. You think they're both surprised? I do. Blaze? George? My pen pal is a dragon? My pen pal is a human? <laughs> Does that matter? Nope. Sure doesn't. Are the dragons and the people? getting along and they're still friends? Did it matter what they looked like? 
Nope. Our pen pal was a success, my friend, or so it would appear. The Poetry and Pen Pal Project, once again next year. <laughs> so it's what's on the inside that matters, isn't it? It doesn't look, matter what you look like on the outside. It's a nice story. I hope you enjoyed it too. I hope you remember that message, always and forever.